Hello, Randy Rain here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a replacement smoke machine for these new bright robots and other robots as well. They have the same thing in them, but especially these new bright robots. They have these little smoke machines in there and there's nothing to them. So I've modeled all the pieces and I'm going to show you how to make them. And with these robots, you can see the instructions are still on this one. And it tells you to use a few drops of household oil, which is just basically what we call three-in-one oil, multi-purpose oil, that type of thing. Just the kind of stuff you buy for your house to stop squeezing and stuff. It is petroleum distillate. So basically you're making a vaporizer that vaporizes petroleum distillates. Not a good thing. But there's no reason you couldn't make one of these and make a new one for these robots and use modern day glycerin based smoke fluid. So if you clicked on this video trying to figure out how to make a custom made smoke machine, well you can use this. This will work. This can easily be modified. And matter of fact the one I made here is better than any of these that's in there. Let me show you how I did it. So I modeled these and then 3D printed them out. These are the pieces that make up the little smoke machine. Two sides and when you go together from the top they make a square but with this little section missing. This is the top where you drop the oil in. This is where the little hose goes to. And then inside there's a little wall and then there's a little notch out each one of these to make a little circle when they go together and then there's two tiny little notches here and here that make two little holes for when they go together that's for the wires the wires usually are just magnet wire so that's what I'm going to use here they're going to go in like this inside there there will be a 36 gauge nichrome wire And then up here is all going to be cotton. And then there's going to be a little cotton piece of string that goes right there. But first, I need to work on the wire. Yes, I have lots and lots of this stuff. And I never use it. This is a... I think one millimeter rod. I'll try that. Now what you have to do is figure out how much you need. Because if it's too long, it's not going to get hot. If it's too short, it's going to burn up. I've got the battery pack. Put that there. What happens here? That's pretty good. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with that. And here's the tricky okay. part. Made a little shepherd's hook there at the end so that the solder can trap this stuff in. Because the solder will not stick to the nichrome wire. Trap it. Now, I'm going to wrap it around. If I can't dab a little more solder there. Yeah. 
Okay, can you see now? It's so small. But I've got one side trapped there. There it is. Trap it in. Come on all the way. All the way down there. Try that. How about that? Okay. It's up there. Let's see if we, how hot it gets. Oh yeah. That's pretty glowing. Now I'm going to try a power source. This is 3.2. So it's going to be a little more than 3 volts, so let's see what happens. There we go, look how glowing it is. That's what I want. Alright, so i got some cotton for these. That goes in there. Then i got a little cotton string. And all you need is like, let's see. Maybe it did that. I'm trying to go by memory how this was. I think it went something like that. A little string. Went in between there. And then, yeah, this went up and midst these pieces of string. Okay, let's try it a different method. So I'm going to take a little bit of CA glue. Go ahead and glue that in. Then, this can go in. Now I have one of these, which you can pop this out, and this, and 
we'll go ahead and put that there. That would be the same thing that would be happening. And then what went in there is just three in one oil. Essentially just a like a vaporizer. And so back in the day we were just pretty much vaping. All that cotton has to get soaked. There, I got some in there that time. Uh, that should be enough. It just needs to soak down into that little piece of string. And it's time to hook it up to a power supply and see if it works. Here we go. Here it goes. Look. Oh, smoky, smoky, smoky. Boop. And that's what it does. Oh, that looks so good. Mine work better than the one that comes with these things. Okay, I'm going to try something different here. I'm going to go back to the battery. Got some new ones here. I think these are good enough to work. To power this on. And I've got a little pump here. So I can let's see what happens. Okay, that should be going. There's how you make a little smoke machine. All right, I found some tubing that'll work. It's stiff tubing, but it'll work. I'm also going to slow down the pump and see what happens. That puts out plenty of smoke. All right, just to make sure that you can see this, I put some black paper down. Let's try this again. Pump. The pump will go up to 12 volts. That was 9. This is 6. All right, this is 12 volts. Okay, I liked it slower than that.
Well, that's fun. So for almost six years now, I've put out a video every Saturday. And to keep up, I have to do some simple ones like that. So that's why I did this. And But now I've learned that I need to make some sort of thing using this pump and this little smoke machine. I don't know what it is, but I got to make something. But if you enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate a big thumbs up. If you want to see more of this stuff, of course, hit the subscribe button. I want to thank these people. These are the patrons. These are the people helping me out. These are the people who brought you how to replace the new bright smoke machine. And I couldn't do all this stuff and make a video every Saturday for six years now without these people. So I thank them oh so very much. And if you'd like to become a patron and help out, uh, there's of course links and perks and all that. And anyway, thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs>